afraid? Yeah, I'll do anything for my brother. We're going to save him. Time to gather round, grab your popcorn, and get ready for an adventure that will keep you on the edge of your seats. If you haven't guessed already, today we'll talk about the already confirmed Luigi's Mansion movie. Yes, that's right, a spin off project following the fan favorite character has been confirmed. Well, kind of. Keep watching to find out everything there is about the much needed spin off. Meow. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Now you die. Just a fair warning, the video contains spoilers for the Super Mario Bros. movie. But I believe you don't really care about the spoilers because you've already watched the much anticipated Super Mario Bros. Okay, I'll admit I wasn't expecting so much hype over the film, but apparently people were so hyped that they went to the cinemas dressed as Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, and well, the rest of the adorable characters. I absolutely love that. Super Mario Bros was, however, not enough. Yeah, the film was perfect, it featured well-developed characters, amazing storylines, and many, many easter eggs. But it did leave us with many questions and what seemed to be a cliffhanger. While watching the film, I couldn't stop thinking about a sequel. Not really a sequel, but a whole Super Mario universe that will give viewers plenty of projects to enjoy. Is it too early to talk about a sequel? No. No, it's not, because the actors involved in the film are already throwing ideas for a potential follow-up, and it looks like the creators have already picked one of their ideas. Let's end this. Mario was the main protagonist of the first film, I mean, obviously, but he wasn't able to defeat the most powerful villain alone. His brother Luigi was there to assist him. There weren't many scenes with the two bros together, but this was because Luigi got kidnapped by Bowser's squad at the beginning of the film. In the movie, Mario has to save his brother, and by the end of the film, the two use Superstar's power and defeat Bowser. As mentioned before, Mario wasn't able to do this alone, obviously, they are more powerful together and if there's a sequel, the two would have to return. But what if this time Luigi serves as a protagonist of the film? This seems like a good idea for a follow-up. Don't you guys agree? Luigi is voiced by the amazingly talented actor Charlie Day. I personally believe that Day did a really good job voicing the character, and I love the fact that he didn't even need to change or improvise his voice. It was all natural. Chris Pratt, on the other hand, had to change his voice in order to give a better performance. Making a sequel in which Luigi will have to lead the project seems like a difficult job, mostly because of the complexity of the character. Not sure if you know who I am, but I'm about to rule the world. Luigi has what seems to be anxiety. He's constantly scared and thinks he can't do anything without the help of his brother. At the moment, there are rumors suggesting that a Luigi-led project is already in the works. There's also rumors about a solo Donkey Kong movie is also under development, and again, nothing has been confirmed. Both Nintendo and Illumination didn't exclude the possibility of a sequel, but right now, they want to stay focused on Super Mario Bros and see if the film will be successful enough. This won't be an issue considering Super Mario Bros. movie passed $500 million globally, thus becoming the most successful video game adaptation ever. Now, let's jump into some surprising theories, shall we? Together, we are going to stop that monster. As mentioned before, Luigi is scared of, well, life, a storyline that is highlighted in Luigi's Mansion. The creators of the film use the same depiction. Because of Luigi's fear of life, Mario feels like his brother needs constant help. Those who have played the games know that this is Luigi's main characteristic, and sadly, the video game creators decided to keep the feature for a long time. This, however, might change, because by the end of Super Mario Bros., Luigi shows courage when standing in front of Bowser's fire blast to protect his brother from the flames. He is terrified, but again, he does this heroic thing of saving his brother's life. Obviously, the creators of the film don't want to keep up with the same depiction, and in some of the next potential films, Luigi will be independent. Maybe he'll be the one who needs to save his brother. Who knows? Luigi wasn't really active in the Super Mario Bros. movie as he spent most of the time locked by Bowser's army. If you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to hit that like button. My army! Koopas! Koopas! Whatever those things are! Aww.
Now let's keep the good times rolling together. Okay, seriously, the creators can make Luigi's Mansion movie incredible while making Luigi more self-reliant as he succeeds in managing circumstances independently. Yes, he can keep his fearful nature, but he can also recognize the need to step beyond his familiar boundaries to support his brother. Don't you guys think this is a good idea for a spin-off? As for mentioned, there's a lot of rumors about the future of Super Mario at the moment. Ideas are floating all over the internet, and most fans think that this is a perfect time to make a Nintendo cinematic universe. I got this. No problem. Ah. Do we agree? Do we need one? Yes. Yes, we do. The Super Mario Bros. movie did what the 1993 live-action adaptation failed to do. It managed to climb to the top while giving both fans and critics something to praise. The film is expected to break more records in the future, and while some think a sequel won't be necessary, others think now is the time to start a great film franchise. I've said this in some of our other previous videos, and I'll say it again. We live in a world where sequels, prequels, threequels, spin-offs, reboots, and re remakes prevail. Everything gets rebooted now, including Harry Potter, this time for TV. TVD's Julie Plack is already working on her fourth TVD spin-off. Netflix is working on an adaptation of Teletubbies, and there is the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. These projects might deserve a sequel or a continuation of some kind, but there are also some really bad films that are now part of a 10-film franchise. If you compare those films to Super Mario Bros., well, you'll see the great potential this film holds. Considering its box office success, we'll soon hear an announcement that will start the Nintendo Cinematic Universe. But what if this universe continues with a different project? We will destroy the Mushroom Kingdom! Yeah! There are a lot of ways in which Super Mario Bros. could continue. There's some fans asking for a Princess Peach-led sequel. Others think Luigi should be the lead character in the follow-up, and some believe Mario should stay the protagonist as he faces new struggles alongside with his brother and Princess Peach. By the way, Super Mario Bros. revealed that Peach has an interesting history, coming to the Mushroom Kingdom where she was just a baby. Maybe we'll get a prequel that explores her past. While we're still waiting for Nintendo or Illumination to greenlight a follow-up, it seems incredibly likely to happen. In May 2021, the Nintendo president said that he plans to make multiple Super Mario films following the company's collaboration with Illumination, something that promises a continuation already. The cast members are willing to return and reprise their roles in any future Super Mario projects. The Super Mario Bros. movie actually promises a sequel itself. As mentioned before, the film left us with many questions and what seemed to be a cliffhanger. There is one mid-credit and one post-credit scene in the film. The first sequence shows a mini version of Bowser trapped in a cage at Princess Peach's castle. Obviously, this hints at Bowser's involvement in the future Super Mario projects. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That one's perfectly fine. He might be the villain again, and he might be an ally and fight more powerful villains alongside Mario, Luigi, and Princess Peach, and he might serve as comedic relief. The second post credit scene is more promising as it features a Yoshi egg left behind in Brooklyn. This means that whatever the next project is, our beloved green dinosaur will make his debut. Mario and his brother would have to return to the real world after becoming the official Mushroom Kingdom residents. All right, folks, that wraps up everything we know so far about Luigi's man movie. We're sure you're as excited as we are to see Luigi embark on an awesome adventure and grow as a character on the big screen. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more updates on this movie and other exciting content. My army! Koopas! Koopas! Whatever those things are! Aww.